Greetings fellow members of the Esoteric Order of Gamers. What's this I hear you ask? Look at the size of it. Oh, it's huge. It's heavy. It's oh, a box from Cool Mini or Not. And it's the others. And we're going to be unboxing it here on The Joy of Unboxing. Well, first we have boxes within boxes. There's a corruption pack. This is a little extra I got myself and a wounds marker pack. Um, I thought this would be handy in other tabletop miniatures games, so I got those as well. Oop, there's an apocalypse lurking in there. It's this apocalypse extras. There's the extra apocalypse pack. And then, oh, down in here, what do we have here? No, I can't get to that. I have to take this out first. And there it is, lurking at the bottom. The Others, a horror board game by Eric M. Lang. Be prepared or be consumed. Can I just point out the very nice touch for packing this with polystyrene edges in there so the box doesn't go anywhere near the edges of the actual outer box. Very nice bit of packing there. Check it out, folks. It's amazing. There is so much stuff in this box. I do hope it's a good game because there's enough miniature painting here to last well, until the apocalypse. Well, it's like Christmas here, I can tell you. A dark, twisted, post-apocalyptic Christmas. And let's start with the core set. It's called The Others. In the core set, you get the monsters of pride and the monsters of sloth. And of course, all the other horrible sins are part of the expansions. You get acolytes, you get the hell club, and you get some heroes, and of course there's lots of boards and things, but enough of my looking at the back, let's have a look inside. Off with the shrink wrap, another gaming experience awaits. Right, look at this artwork, beautiful. And it's a nice big rule book, look at that, it's how many pages? 44 pages. Rules, rules, rules. Rules, rules. Lots of rules. Wow, this whole thing is rules. Is quite a lot of rules. Whew. Looks like we'll be needing a very large rule summary for this one. Wow. There's our rule book. Now we've got some counters and things here. Let's have a look. Right, two sheets of thick counters. Very bold graphic look. And these appear to be sort of adventure sheets. Haven's Last Stand, The Darkness Within, Battleground of Souls. Haven in Flames, etc. So these must be different setups and playthroughs for different adventures. What's on the back? Ah, map setups. There we go. So it's nice to see these on separate pieces of card rather than in a book, actually. I think this is a good idea. So you obviously do all your setup there and then you turn it over and play the actual scenario on this side, with this side. Nice. Ah, we've got some cards and dice. Nice custom dice. Lovely. A gorgeous main miniature. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Lots of miniatures here. And more stuff down the bottom. Oh, look at this. Lots of card. And our tiles. Wow, there's just so much stuff. It's great to spend some money. You know, it's a decent amount of money, but you really get your money's worth, and we've hardly started. Right here are our map tiles. And they're not double-sided, but, you know, that's not too bad. There's quite a lot of them, and sometimes it can be annoying to go through double-sided tiles trying to find the stuff that you're after. As you can see, there's a different scale. It's sort of representative because you've got pictures of little people on them and of course you'll have miniatures standing on these. So there'll be a, a bit of a scale difference there. 
So it's all the feeling of a city. There we go, there's our tiles. Now what have we got here? Corrupted hobo. Corrupted nun. Corrupted doctor. These are acolytes apparently. Oh, nice thick card. An apocalypse track. Ah, here's our pride beasties. And our sloth beasties. That looks pleasant. We've got another thing here, Carl, Wolf. And these are our character sheets. And oh, I'm so glad to see, look, thick card for the character sheets, fantastic. There's even little pop out bits there. I'll do that a bit later, but obviously you can put things in those holes, which is great. And it's just such a pleasure to see character cards made of thick card. Good stuff. Come on. There's some lovely custom dice. Very chunky, good clear icons. Now we've got some cards. Hellfire Mutation. Stab in the Dark, Perpetual Inferno. As you can see, it's a cheery old game. Horrible Clive Barkerish creatures. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, uplifting. <laughs> Great game for kids. <laughs> We've come for you. Ah. How pleasant. Then we've got some smaller cards and again more happy themes. Probably religious people with finely tuned sensibilities could possibly avoid this game. It might upset them. So they're dark past cards, upgrade cards and Oh, looks like cards for Sloth and I'm sure Pride as well. Okay, here are all the miniatures you get in just the core set. So let's have a closer look at these fantastic miniatures. Let's get started with the hero miniatures and you can see right away there's a lot of very fine detail in these miniatures and they've got a lot of personality. They're really exceptional pieces of work. And I think uh, Mike McVie is doing stunning stuff here. But you don't want to listen to me yapping on and saying how nice they are, blah, blah, blah. Instead, let's just play a bit of music while you have a look at these great minis. Right, these are the Acolytes, and there are two each of these designs. Look at that grinning face. Whoa. Ah, uh, the end of the world is 
Obviously no. And some more horrors. There's going to be a lot of painting to do with this set. There's a couple each of these things. Then we've got the uh, Hell Club. And you can really see the Hellraiser influence. And finally, my friends, the PS de Resistance of the core set. This horrific tentacled monstrosity. And look at the detail. Wow, that is really something to give you nightmares. And look at that workman's bum crack. Ugh. Ugh. It's the most horrible thing of all. Yes, it's a very impressive large piece. Okay, let's get on to the other expansion packs. Oh, and I forgot to mention you get a bunch of these little counters as well, which are, would be great for all kinds of games, really. And some coloured base rings. Okay, let's count down the other five deadly sins. We're starting with greed. And I've already ripped the shrink wrap off, as you can see. Here are our miniatures. And here is our nice reference board, again in thick card, which is great to see. And a few cards for greed. It comes with three special dice and some horrific greeblies. Well, I think we'll be using a lot of flesh tone and red when painting this game. Yeah. Oh. And there's several of those arms in different position, which is great. Yes, you get the idea. Well, that's greed. And they do look like greedy little nubbins, don't they? Let's go from greed to gluttony. Ugh. More dice. And you get the idea. Reference card and special cards. And look. More tentacles and mouths and fat and lots of bums. And a selection, six to be exact, of these charming things. Well, that's gluttony for you. That's where it will get you. So, what's next? 
Uh, envy. Well, as befits envy, these seem to be a bit more spiky and nasty. Look at all the teeth. Right. Hello. <laughs> In these sets, these creatures you get three different sculpts, two of each sculpt. Ugh. Horrible. Oh, that's Envy. Okay, it's time for Lust. Who knows what horrors lurk inside this box. Yes, that's rather horrifying. Not seeing the Lust connection there, but they are supposed to be monsters after all. That's some kind of techno priest thing. And our lost creatures have very small legs and very large arms. Oh, they walk on spikes, of course. Ugh. Oh dear. Poor old Mike McPhee, spending hours and hours and hours sculpting these horrific things. Wrath! And our Wrath boss monster is appropriately nasty looking. Grr, arg. And the rank and file of these huge jawed dog creatures. We'll flash there to clean up. Okay, that's the sins. Now let's look at some of the other boxes. It just goes on and on. Right, we've got two extra teams now and we're starting with the Omega team. What's in here? Well, there's some new adventures and setups. Oh, there's some more tiles, that's good to see, and quite a few there. Uh, more character cards. Oh, and a couple of nice bags. There we go. It's a nice touch. A few more cards down the bottom, and some more miniatures. That's just nasty. This guy's got a bit of a Doctor Octopus vibe. And our heroes from Omega Team. And that's Omega Team. Next up is Beta Team. Now you could have got even more teams from the Kickstarter if you wanted to pay extra for them, but I thought this was quite enough to keep me going. There's 
So story maps, more tiles. These ones have a bit more of a gritty urban feel. extra cards there and some more little cards Got dice no big monsters in this set but lots of corrupted police And there are two each of these designs. And that's Beta Team. Well, my friends, we're getting close to the end of the other's journey, and this is Apocalypse. This was an expansion that was an add-on to the Kickstarter, but I had to get it because of the amazing miniatures in there, large-scale ones. So let's have a look inside Apocalypse. We've got some rules and story setups there. End times set up and some more tiles. And there's a strange mixture of what a roller coaster and a octopus. I don't know what's happening there at all. And a carnival theme, concert hall, some kind of junkyard. Hmm. Another apocalypse track. A few cards, a few small cards, and some very big miniatures. Wow. Well, these are really something and will be a pleasure to paint. This is pestilence. Here we have war. Wow. And of course, famine. Yeah. These really are incredible. And good old death. And finally, Apocalypse. Look at that. It's pretty huge, <laughs> pretty horrible, very, very spiky, covered with tentacles. It's nightmarish. I can't even imagine how long that's going to take to paint. It's a huge figure and covered in detail, but very, very impressive. Finally, there was this little box of extras. Um, Two more characters. There they are. Well, there you have it, folks. The amazing unboxing of The Others by Cool Mini or Not. And look at it all. There is so much stuff. It's quite amazing. And really, it makes the big publishers look 
kind of mean? I mean, there's so much bang for your buck here. You get so many miniatures and so much gaming goodness. I really hope it's a good game because this is going to be taking up a lot of space on my shelf. Um, also, it's quite daunting because there are so many miniatures to paint. As someone who likes to paint their miniatures, there's months and months, if not years, worth of work here to get it all done. And in fact, there's just so much. I feel like I'm almost being swamped by just all these boxes and all the miniatures. Like, help! I've just so much gaming. I can't help! Ah!